Okay, so we're into our next video here, and we are going to continue working with our five foot by two foot rectangle uh, that we just created. So what we're gonna do is now is we're looking at our dimensions on canvas right here. It's five feet by two feet, but we gotta get it two feet high. So how do we make this two feet tall? Um, in Google SketchUp, there's a really cool and powerful tool. It's called our push pull tool, and it's this, uh, rectangle with a an arrow coming out of it. This is our push-pull tool. And you can just hit uh, P on your keyboard uh, as a shortcut, or you can select it from up here. And when I take my push-pull tool and I move it around, I can select or grab different surfaces and push or pull them out. Um, I know this rectangle is selected because I got my little polka dot pattern in there. Um, so just like my rectangle tool, I can push and pull things in a third dimension, which I'm going to do now. So I'm going to click and hold, and as I drag up, I can create this uh, flat two-dimensional object into a three-dimensional. When I let go, it sets it in, and here we go. So there's my cube. Now, I didn't pay any attention to my dimensions, so I can use my tape measure tool, uh, which looks like a tape measure, or is T on your keyboard. So uh, T on the keyboard gets you there, and I can measure. And Google SketchUp likes to snap to things, so I can put um, my tape measure on the line there, and we get a little red square. I can click and drag it down, and I can wait till I get that next red square, and I can tell that this is one foot ten and seven eighths of an inch tall. So not my two foot tall that I need it to be. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit Control Z uh, back in SketchUp and undo what I did. Because I'm going to show you a different way, it's similar to our rectangle that we created in the last video, that I can make sure when I push-pull I get this exactly two feet tall. So I'm going to grab my push-pull tool again, and I'm just going to hit P on the keyboard to do that. And I'm going to click it just once and start to ease it up. Now I'm not going to click anything else, I'm taking my hand off of my mouse. And now I'm just going to type two and an apostrophe for feet and hit enter. And there we go. It snaps to two feet tall. Uh, I can pull up my tape measure tool again by selecting it from the menu or hitting T on the keyboard. And now when I measure, whoop, I'll try that again. Make sure I grab the edge and it says on edge. I can measure down and look at that, two feet exactly. There we go. So we went from a five foot by two foot rectangle. Now we have a five foot by two foot by two foot rectangle uh, three-dimensional object. And what's cool is you can grab your orbit tool, hit O on the keyboard for your shortcut, and I can move around and see this thing in all three dimensions. Okay, so stop right here, uh, hop back into Canvas, uh, create your third dimension by using that push-pull tool, uh, and then jump back into these videos when you're done.